What's up tool free guys? If you are a tool not like me, today's video is for you. In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the 5 best jointer. I've titled this list based on my personal preference and also team wise hours of research. We've listed them based on their popularity, quality, durability, price and manufacturer reputation. Also have included options for every type of customer. So if you are looking for an entry level option or the best product for the money, we'll have the product for you. If more information and updated pricing are needed, please be sure to check the mentioned links in the description below. Famous Tool makes videos for tool enthusiasts and tool nuts and need different tools and gears every day. So if you are a tool freak, please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for further tool videos. Now let's get started with the video. The number one position is dominating by Powermatic 161006K. The 161006K is a full-size jointer that's built to handle a large volume of work. The price tag clearly communicates this fact. The jointer has a 230V 2hp single-phase 9A motor which powers a 7000RPM helical cutter head and for that reason is recognized as one of the top 8-inch jointers out there. Speaking of performance, the 161008 k has a maximum cutting depth of a half an inch and joint stock less than 8 inches wide. The 73 inch table and 38 inch fans provide adequate support for long pieces. The dust collection mechanism functions extremely well, leaving virtually no debris. In addition to high capacity, the next advantage of owning a 161008 k is the easy and accurate adjustment. The infeed table's fine and coarse adjustment lever allows you to set the depth with extreme precision and convenience. The no more fences gear system lets you set the angle of the fence using a robust hand wheel. Although the initial setup takes time, the parts remain in alignment during operation. The table fence and cutter heads stay right where you put them until you tweak the settings again. Moreover, you get a 5 year limited warranty in this machine. Considering all this, it's not surprising why many woodworkers consider the 161008 k the best wood jointer on the market. Moving on to the next, at number 2 we have Delta Power Tools 372071. A full-fledged commercial wood shop requires a jointer like the 161008 k But what about the small-scale wood shop owners? Should they remain content with buying pre-surfaced lumber? Or should they rig up elaborate router's gigs to join lumber? While these are a few options, these situations call for a bench jointer like the Delta 372071. The 372071 runs on a 120 volt single phase 12 ampere motor which powers the 10,000 RPM cutter head. And the cutter head has two straight knives that cut to a maximum of 1 8 inches at 20,000 cuts per minute. The table is 28 and a half inches long and the fence is 22 7 8 inches long. Generally, the length of the stock you can join is approximately twice the length of the bed. With this machine, you can join up to 5 inch long stock without extra support. The fence has positive stops at 90 degree, 45 degree in and 45 degree out. Changing the fence's angle is easy, but you should check the angles with the speed square. If the fence is out of alignment, you can calibrate it by adjusting the 90 degree stop rod and 45 degree stop bolts. The machine comes with a 5 year warranty, 2 push blocks, a built in dust blower, 2 cutter head knives and cast iron construction. So it has everything you need to get started on joining some wood. And considering its price, it's one of the best jointers for the money. And it's certainly also one of the best 6 inch bent stub jointers on the market. The number 3 position is holding by Porter Cable PC 160ZT. If you are shopping for a bent jointer, the Porter Cable PC 160ZT is one of the better low cost options to consider. It's cheaper than the Delta 372071 and it comes with a variable speed setting using 5 speed settings. You can change the cutter head speed from 6000 RPM to 11000 RPM. So you can adjust the speed to match the size and material of the stock. The PC160JT's table is 30 inches long and its fence is 19.5 inches long. A 110 volt 2 horsepower single phase 10 ampere motor powers the cutter head. This motor is less powerful than the motor on the Delta 372071. The cutter head has two high speed steel straight knives that can land between 12,000 and 22,000 cuts per minute. The maximum cut depth for this machine is 1 8 inches and it can join surfaces up to 6 inches wide. The fence has two stops, 90 degree and 45 degree. Now here lies the main problem. The machine doesn't stay tuned. You should frequently check the level of the infeed table, the cutter head and the outfit table as well as the angle of the fence. So this isn't a high precision machine. Lastly, the build quality of this machine doesn't look nor feel durable. For instance, the Delta 372071 has a solid cast iron construction. 
but the PC160ZT has a sheet metal housing and plastic adjustment levers. Overall, the Delta is a better machine, but it is more expensive than this border cable jointer. That said, the pc 160 is a viable option if you have a very small and tight budget. Next at number 4, we have ZZZP12 12-inch jointer planer combo. One of the most common issues people face is choosing between a planer and jointer. The reason is the space and budget constraints. A smart way to overcome this limitation is to go for a jointer planer combo. In this category of products is ZZZP12 Brain Supreme. Bear in mind, if you run a production scale workshop, you'll need a separate jointer and planer. For small to medium scale operations, you can count on the ZZP12. So let's see what makes this product so great. The most noticeable plus point is the ease with which you can switch between jointer mode and planar mode. You can do it in under a minute. The 230 volt 3 horsepower single phase 12.5A motor rotates a cutter head at 5500 rpm. The cutter head has three straight knives, thus the jointer makes 16500 cuts per minute. Since three knives share the work, they retain their sharpness for longer periods. In the planar mode, the machine has a feed rate of 20 fpm. The maximum cutting depth for a full weight piece is 1 8 inches. This is standard and the planer table is 20.25 inches, which is enough for planing stock up to 3.5 feet long. The joiner table, however, is 55 inches long. This is adequate for joining stock up to 8 feet long. In conclusion, if you don't own a planer, then this is a superb choice. However, if you do own one, then you should go for the Powermatic 1610086K. They're both in the same price range. Finally, at number 5, we have Z708457DXK. Your situation demands a full-size jointer, but you are on a limited budget consider buying the Z708457DXK. When I look at budget-friendly solutions, I check one thing. Does the performance scale down as much as the price does? In this case, the 708457DXK is 60% cheaper than the Powermatic 1610086K. So how much does the performance vary? Let's check. The Powermatic has a 2070-watt motor and the Z has a 1495-watt motor, so that's a 27.7% drop. When it comes to table length, there's a 23% decrease in length, and as for the table width, there's a 25% decrease. As you can see, the performance doesn't decrease as much as the price does, this is a very good thing. Both machines have the same maximum depth of cut, so if you're not losing, on so much. However, one key difference is the cutter head type. Powermatic has a helical cutter head, but the Z-Jointer's cutter head has three straight knives. This switch does not negatively impact performance as much as positively impacts the economy. But no complaints here either. Lastly, the Z708457DXK comes with a 5-year limited warranty. Now here's my take on this. If you need something better than a bench jointer, but you don't want to go all in, buying the Z708457DXK is a good option. I hope you guys enjoyed our effort. And if so, hit the like button and subscribe our channel to show your support. And also, stay tuned with the channel for more tool videos.